Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Welcome back to Hayekadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life. Jesus is truly King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and the Holy Bible is our only standard and authority for truth. And together, God's people say with hearts of praise, Hallelujah. Now, we're continuing our look into the life of Job through the book of Job, and today we are in chapter 23. Now, Job is going to give his response to Eliphaz, and he says several interesting things here. So let's just take a brief look. He begins at uh, uh, verse 1, and it says, Job answered and said, Even today is my complaint bitter. My stroke is heavier than my groaning. Oh, that I knew him, where I might find him that I might come even to his seat. I would order my cause before him, and I would fill my mouth with arguments. Now, even as Job is speaking out of the pain of his heart, such foolish words. And friends, I've heard so many say this. You know, if I could just speak with God about my situation, and by saying those things, even I in times past have uttered such foolish words, such foolish thoughts. In saying such things, we show and reveal our foolishness because he is the great and mighty God, absolute in power, radiant in holiness. And so us to stand before him would be as if we were standing in front of the sun itself. We would be consumed by the glory, the presence, the power, the magnitude of such a heavenly, all-consuming fire. And yet, the God we serve, the Almighty, created the Son. And so as powerless as we are, as little as we are, as insignificant as we are before the Son, how much more before the Almighty? And that's why we hear Job say in verse 15, he says, Therefore, I'm troubled at his presence. When I consider, I am afraid of him. Now, as Job is speaking these foolish words, there's a little bit of wisdom that is sounding forth. He says, I'm afraid to stand in front of the Lord. Well, we're going to see in the days of head in chapter 40, the Lord does come down. He does answer Job. He says in chapter 40, verse 2, Shall he that contendeth with the Almighty instruct him? He that reproved God, let him answer it. And Job answered the Lord and said, Behold, I am vile. What shall I answer thee? I will lay my hand upon my mouth. The Message Bible says it like this. I am speechless. I'm in awe. Words fail me. I should have never opened my mouth. I have talked too much way too much. I am ready to shut up and listen. In other words, Job thought as strong as his arguments were to defend himself against the Almighty are futile and empty. And he would be better to keep his mouth closed than to open his mouth and reveal himself as a fool. We also see this in the book of Isaiah in chapter 6 when Isaiah says, as he comes in the presence of the Lord, Woe is me, for I am undone. I am a man of unclean lips. I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord of the host of heaven. To refer to the Message Bible again, the Message Bible says it like this. Doom. It's doomsday. I'm as good as dead. Every word I've ever spoken is tainted. Blasphemous even. And the people I live with talk the same way, using words that corrupt and desecrate. And here I've looked God in the face, the King of glory, God of the angel armies. You see, friends, the truth of the matter is all of us, I am sure, in times past have been in Job's position, have spoken the words that Job has spoken, but oh so foolishly. Because if he were to come into our presence as king of glory, as sinful and undone as we are, we would fall at his feet as dead men. His radiance is all too consuming for us. His holiness too overpowering. He is king of kings, friends, lord of lords, and we are worms of the earth. 
And we must understand this in order to make progress in our journey. We have to understand who he is and who we are. And that sets forth the great need for him in our lives. A dependency as a child upon his father. And as we understand this relationship, that's what leads Solomon to write in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5, Trust in the Lord, trust in the Almighty with all thine heart, and do not lean to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your paths. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. And so if we have ever been guilty of blaming God, of making accusation against God, if demanding an audience with God, friends, we need to fall on our face and repent before him because it is only by his mercy that he hasn't given us such an audience. That's why we are told in Hebrews, our God is a consuming fire. And Job is about to learn that. He has asked for counsel before the Almighty. And so I think there's two lessons that we can take from this this morning. First, if we really knew God, I mean, if we really knew God, we would carefully consider the thoughts of our hearts, much less the words of our lips. And second, we might want to be very careful about what we ask for because we might not want the answer as much as we think we do. And we should have learned to appreciate no from the Almighty because most of the time, if not all of the time, that no is there to protect us. And if we could see the full picture, we would never ask such foolish things to begin with. Well, I love you, friends. I'm again so thankful that you're here with us this morning. I pray that you are being inspired through this story of Job's life. I pray that you are being challenged. And I pray that you're learning both from the good and the bad. Now may your journey be blessed today and may you walk in joy unspeakable and full of glory. I love you friends. Now as Yahweh wills and until tomorrow, I'll see you on the next video.